Okay, we're going to show you a few things that might help you with this delta math lesson. First one, Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem, simply put, is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So that is your Pythagorean theorem. And what I need to do is I need to solve this thing uh, by the largest side, the hypotenuse, the one opposite the right angle, always goes in for c. And it doesn't really matter what you pick for a and b. I usually put the one that looks a little shorter in as a and the other one is b and c is the hypotenuse, the longest one. But how you set that up doesn't matter. So I'm going to get b squared. I would need to subtract 35 squared from both sides. And generally, I do not multiply those out. I just do something like that. Now, at this point, you're free to pull up Desmos, but I also have access to a, a built-in calculator within Delta Math. So my Delta Math calculator is up here in the corner. I'm going to have to drag to get it to show up. So I have 37 squared minus 35 squared. And then that gives me an answer of 144. And then to get your final answer, you would just need to do the square root of 144, because if 144 is b squared, b must be 12. So that would be the correct answer to this. It's always a good idea to see if that answer is reasonable in the context of the problem. And an answer of 12, uh, a side of 12 does not look that unreasonable. And some of these aren't to scale, so the fact that that side looks a little longer than 35 doesn't really bother me much. It's uh, shorter than the hypotenuse, so it's probably okay. Okay, Pythagorean theorem again, but I'm in the last section, which is uh, extra credit for regular students. But it's a um, good thing to know how to do. You have uh, 4 square plus 8 square equals c squared when I set up my Pythagorean theorem because hypotenuse, the one opposite the right angle, is always c. And then uh, once again, I can just pull up my uh, calculator that is inside Delta Math, or I can pull up Desmos if you prefer. They work about the same. In this case, I have 4 squared uh, plus 8 squared. And in this case, I get an 80. Now, I can try square root of 80. <clears throat> I'm going to get a decimal. And if you were in your first lesson, it would have wanted it to the nearest tenth or something, so 8.9 would have been acceptable. But in this case, it wants simplest radical form. In other words, they're wanting you to break down that 80. So remember, you can break down that 80 in two ways. I can either take the 80 and see what divides out of it. A 2 comes out. I can take out another 2. I can take out yet another two. Wow, seems to be a lot of twos coming out of 80. So that's two pairs of twos and a five. Remember, each pair of twos gives a number outside, so I have two times two, and the five is stuck inside. So two times two root five. So my answer should be four root five. We'll go ahead and show you how to type that in. It's pretty simple. Once you know it's 4 root 5, just type in a 4, followed by root 5. And uh, hopefully you have done uh, some things simplifying roots like that before, but that will uh, be the final form you need to have for your answers on these.